Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even it's failed to, to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which okay. did little to endear him to the Pope. <laughs> Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. What is up guys and girls? I don't know why I still do the smack thing even though that I don't have that sound effect anymore. I do a good enough sound effect. Welcome to... Uh, see hold on whoa that is terrifying look at i've done something bad hopefully my computer can run it like this we'll see we'll see how this goes um the graphic settings yeah. it'll be fine i didn't build a beast for nothing Okay, welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance, the video game based in medieval times. I've played about 35 hours of this game personally, or on my own time, and I've done dreadfully. But, um, I'm older now. This game came out in, I think, 2000... Was it 2018? I thought it came out in 2015. It came out a couple years ago, and, um... I've been playing it since it first came out, so I may be better at it, but enough yapping. Um, yeah, we'll just start a new game on top of the game that I've already done, because I don't remember what I was doing anyways. I don't even remember how to play. I'm not doing hardcore, but more realistic, random and for players who are familiar with the essentials of combat and survival in the world of kingdom. Nah, I'd rather not die a ton. It's a lot of editing that I do not wish to do. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. But now, with his son Rinklelius the Idol on the Bohemian throne, was falling into blah 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 turmoil. The king's inactive angered many of the nobility, as well as the half brother, King Sigmund the Hungary, who decided, I am not reading fast enough. You guys can read it. Sheesh. Beauty game. Beautiful game. Birdies! Water! Deer! Water! Deer! Are oh, those cows? I can't tell. Everything's moving too fast. Wow! Silver Skeletes 1403. Isn't it weird how you put the settings on the highest settings and stuff still kind of looks like Play-Doh? It just hasn't rendered? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
we might do a full playthrough of this game, I am unsure. A scorcher, eh? Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. Well, this hour. Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up oh. then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. I heard that on my ear. It was very loud. I like that her leg is clipping through her dress. Get up now. There's work to be done. Mother! Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? Love you, Dad. Better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, uh. Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now Ma! stop, you rogue. Get hurt! <sighs> I'm a blacksmith's son. What does that mean? That means I create swords for a living. And, um, also get in bar fights, apparently. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Oh, I've got to... By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select the character's default characteristics. Not to worry, all characters can be further developed without limitations. We were chatting in the tavern. I was dancing. I was with Bianca Vitality. Ooh. I was working on... I was working in the forge. Um, yeah, we'll do speech. I feel like that might be important. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Suspicious. You're interested in sword fighting? Matthias was teaching me at archery. I was with Bianca. What does it matter? I don't know. Does it matter? Strength. I feel like agility. Vitality. Vitality is I was with the anchor. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to well, that happens when you have children, interestingly enough. Have my friends been here? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. 
They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was out um, with Bianca, Bianca duh. Of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least Sheesh. you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for clever some girl. time. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way... Yada, yada, yada. Can you just shut? Sorry, Mom, but seriously. Can you help with anything? You need me to do anything, Ma. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. Thank goodness. I don't want to help you anyways. Is Paul mad at me? With me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. Okay, there's a hint of a storm coming, which means weather or something. I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it for the sake of this gameplay. There's bread on the table, she said. Oh, eat. I have to sit first? What is this? Okay, let me just uh, eat this apple. I can't eat the apple while I'm sitting? What is this? I just... Ugh. I sat because it said that I had to sit. Or I thought it said that I had to sit. And then I don't have to sit. Just give me the apple. Yeah, I pick it up with the back of my hand. That makes sense. What else we got over here? Anything else? Oh, we got bread. Ah, yes. There's the porridge. And I'm not sitting next to the porridge. Why am I not sitting next to the... Sits me next to the porridge! I want the porridge! I'll eat the bread. I'll eat the apple. Am I fat now? No, my hunger is slightly better. I'll get up. Get up, boy! What is this? Eat the porridge. Or don't. I'm gonna take all of these apples, because I mean, you know. Just pick it up with my hand. Back my hand. Okay, pick that up. Bread. Apple. Apple. Can I eat this? Until soup. Apple. Bread. Where's all the food? Mother asks with a confused look. Oh, I think our son ate it all and picked it up with the back of his hand. What a strange boy, says Mother. Hunger is gone. I have no negative attributes. None. Oh, cheese. Got some cheese, too. Let's make sure I'm prepared, you know? How am I hungry again? I literally just ate. The compass gives me a waypoint so I can find father. Father! 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 Come here, I need your help. Oh, shoot. Don't be mad at me. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Maybe. Persuasion. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by a reputation you have at the moment when the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. The quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are together with your reputation can make a bigger difference to how you, people respond. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be willing to assign risky tasks to you. You can sometimes rely on money. In special cases, you can try and use another skill, horsemanship. Oh, okay. That's another page. Persuasion. 
to level your reputation with your counterpart, money, um, total speech skill level, and what's required in order to persuade the person. Come. I think I understand that. I do not know anything about you, Father. That seems pretty high. I'll do that one. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I, I like him. I Sorry, Father. For the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer. And Time to nut up or shut up. Charcoal. Kunesh, not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale... I already forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. <clears throat> okay, Father, I'm gonna go, uh... Oh, cool. Quest log. Unexpected visits. Go to the sword fighting lesson, buy a bag of charcoal at the markets, collect the debt. Okay, I'm gonna do each one individually. Starting with the sword, B, buy a bag of charcoal at the markets. Okay, maybe I should do that one first. A. Do I have any money? I'm kind of important. I don't. Father, how am I supposed to buy charcoal at the market if I don't have any money? Father, do you have money? I'm poor. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? No, I need money for charcoal. Yes. Fine. Yet. Okay, I'll figure I'll it out. On it. And how much longer will it? No, I don't. Let's go do the sword fighting lesson because I want to see this sword thing. Yeah. Boo -doo boom. Got to go to B wherever B is. Could do with a bite to eat. I, you just ate. What are you like a bottomless pit or something? Hey. Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? Let's do it. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, like a man. it's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's do it. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheep fold as usual. Okay, I'll just follow you, I guess. Do I need a sword, or are you just gonna give me a stick? What's what's going on here, buddy? That ass. Oh, I see. I know where we're going. Figured it out. I got decent 
at this combat in the game. This the combat in this game is so accurate, like realistic. I mean, it's hard. It is not easy. Why don't we wait? Let's go look at the sheep. Can I? Can I just hear the sheep? Ah. Yeah. You hear yet? It's about time. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. You've taught me something? Oh no. Oh look, I saw well. Let's start with the basics. Basics, huh? Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Okay, keep moving. Alright. Oh, focus on him. Okay. Left shift to dodge. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Okay. Now you're getting it. Nice. Good. Very good. Yeah, take that. Oh. I don't like that the comet doesn't lock on the person. Try it a few times. Lock onto the person. Very good. Whoa, I just did a thing. Fine. Alright. Okay. Good, good. Let's try something else. Hey, One neither. strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Calm. Okay. At the very moment the previous strike lands. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Again. Good. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. Alright. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsting. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. You got it, boss. Okay, we need to go talk to the dude at A, right? This guy, Charcoal. A. Good day. Let's talk. Trade. Wait, how much Charcoal do I need? Hold up. Hold up. Ten Charcoal. Did it work? Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Kunesh. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Um, pay you drunkard. Um, this could be fun. Let's do it this way. You can expect a visit from father. Well, you want it. I'll tell father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. I don't care. 
come back. Okay, how do you crouch? There we go. Hook. Oh, that didn't work. Kick, hook, jab. Direct a hand blow to the face. How do you block? Q is block. Raises and holds both your hands. Have you lost your mind? Uh, Ow. You're going to cry now. Why are you approaching him? Take Punch him. Shit uh, boss. Uh, up. Block. Mm. Ow. Okay, hold on. Jab. Missed. Mm. You dodge. Oh. Snap that in the wall. Take that. And that. Some of this. Some of that. Stamina, 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 stamina. stamina. I could see my enemy's uh, health there. He's definitely doing better than me. Give up the money, sir. Ow, that was not good. Take that! Some of this! Had better days. Good to mother, she'll pass me up. Ow! Ow! Well Alright, you know what? Mother! Patch me up! Ow, what the hell? Backstabber? Well, um... See if we can pick up. Come on, be a left. I just hold it. Does that work? I'll just go talk to father. Be like, father, I'm a little bitch and I can't fight. Please help me. I got beaten up by that bastard. And my stamina is low. First I need to find Mother, and ask her to patch me up. Mother, I almost died. Father told me to beat this guy up. Your father did what? That'll be great. Mother, mother, mom, 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 mama, mama. Ma? Ah, ma. I'm hurt. Won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. Everything's still red. You have to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Yay, mother's help. I feel much better. Okay, father, I, um, try to get back that loan, but he, I got beaten up in the process. Can you help, father? About time. Um, Kunish wouldn't pay and I threatened me. Kunish, but he wouldn't pay, and then he threatened me. I might have known. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. But without Kunish's money, I can't buy those other things you wanted. Here's coin for the charcoal and the ale. I'll get it back from that mongrel this evening. That was much easier than me getting my ass handed to me, but. Oh well, can't undo the past. There you go, I had an apple. Alright. Let's go get the charcoal. That looked like a mess. Um, yeah, things are going well. I did not do good in that comment sequence.
Can I can we trade? I need ten charcoal, please. Let's close that deal. Cool. Okay, I could get a haircut. What? I've seen better days. Our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. I've no idea what's going on. Just listen, and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I, Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Dude, I already got beaten up. I don't want to go in and a fight. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlementier. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <sighs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it to be honest. But doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not gonna take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? I get the option? Uh, I guess not. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a chance like this? I've got better things to do than get another other fight and get my ass handed me. That's how. Oh, I'm in here now. Hey, you. Are you Bianca? Oh, you are Bianca. Hey, Bianca. God save, my lovely. Hey, Henry's You're come looking to see well us. today. I'm not. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Really? All the blood and scars on my face? Ale. Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then? Ragamuffin? Uh. Um, I need ale. That, please. Father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Aye. I like how he nods. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. Thank you. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. 
Lanyon. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Uh, Pal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. I wonder what they mean by thanking her properly later. I have no idea what they're referencing. Savior Snaps. Immediately drink Savior Snaps. With the game automatic. I can't read that because my face is in the way. Would you quit like moving the too late now? Guys, I'm over here again. Alright. What's his face is asking about me? I think I already talked to him though. In fact, I'm 100% certain I already talked to him. Pick up the cross guard at the castle. Okay, going to the castle. Mm, I need food in my belly. I've never met somebody that eats this much. Like, I literally just had breakfast, and my, person, my character is like, Oh, I'm hungry again. Immediately after walking out the front door. Do, 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 do. I like the old medieval kind of music. Hey guys, how's it going? I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? The uh, judge was announced the king of the tavern. I came for the cross guard. I'm not gonna. My father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saradzic. And the Chamberlain has the crossguard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me <laughs> what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent! Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. I doubt it will be. Something's gonna happen. There's a storm coming, and there's no clouds in sight. I wonder what might be the storm. Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out. Father at the forge! Father at the forge! Yeah, beat the crap out of that sword. Teach you who's boss. About the things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. We need the ale oh, to shoot the steel, inside. right? Well done. Because that's how that works. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. Hmm. Look at that lad. Shiny. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. We got the charcoal. Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Ooh, the charcoal comes. The charcoal moves. That's cool. That's By cool. The way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house. Maybe. 
And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. I didn't do shit. <laughs> do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? I thought we were so done with this conversation. To a word I say. So Deutsch spouts with me. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. If I could ready. play this game passive and just right, we'll beak out of everything, that'd be cool. But no, I need this sword that my father is forging. I'll heat it up. When I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do I? Man, that must be a hot forge. That heated up quick. Do it. His hand just slips and he just gets a third degree Ooh. burn. Once more. Or fourth, or he just loses his entire hand. Both of them slip. He stabs his son with the flaming sword. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. It'd be perfect. I feel like the beginning of this game, like you're working on this I've sword, but you never get to use the sword. Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Push! Beautiful. I would have done more for the grip, honestly, but it's going to be like such a big deal to do the sword, but okay. It's magnificent. Could be better. Indeed it is. <laughs> with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. What am I, your errand boy? I want to get the nails from for Teresa, then I get the nails, and then we get attacked by villagers for making a sword for a law that they don't like. It's it all it's all part of a plan. Sure, it's. What are those nails? Oh, over here? No, over there. What? Oh. Bandage. Take those. Zipper snaps. Because if we do get attacked, like I think we will, like I know we will, because I've already played this game before, then. Um. 
Oh, that storm, I mean. You know, that storm. We're gonna get attacked by that storm. Then I'm gonna need the savior snaps and everything. Because this place is gonna get looted. There you go. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, oh, she's to... fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Okay, glad you like the sword. Wink, wink. Well, that was... <coughs> Fine lass, eh? <laughs> Father-son moments. Good stuff. Come and see this. Good stuff. It's time for the trial by fire. Well, it cuts. But does it stab? <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Where do these people keep appearing from? Those How do we not notice the, the Lord and all of his horses not show up as idols? Your skills, then. Whoa, swing it at me, why don't you? The hell? Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. I like this man. Oh, this suddenly it does actually have the. Uh... You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. See, they did the but thing that I was talking about. What the future holds for each of us. Not just a wooden hilt. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. Thank you, my lord. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Yes! Will. As my character says. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Ispan. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. This is a long intro for our game. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. What the dilly? I did notice a fire behind the us while Messenger. we were talking. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Did you not notice the fire to the right? That's what's happened.
It's a bald man. It's Dr. Phil! What's Dr. Phil gonna do with that sword? Nothing good. Are we surrounded? That escalated quickly. Run! I like all the people standing there while arrows are falling like... Listen to me, Al. Listen oh no, arrows! Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything. Oh no, that one landed right next to my foot. To the castle. Hurry, I should probably run. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sorrento. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. What am I doing? I went well. I already took everything out of that chest, but okay. Run, boy, run! I need to find my father! I might die in the process, but that's okay. Father! Yes! Uh oh, Dr. Phil's watching him. The music is so subtle for this. Like it's like, do 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 do. Well, you guys can hear it. Father, Doctor Phil is behind you. Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil just says, "Doctor's note." Oh no, mother. Mother! Ooh. That's like the worst way to get- ooh. And then he's just sitting there watching the whole thing. Hello, Dr. Phil! Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Run? Run! <laughs> I'm not even playing yet, but I feel like I should be. Find the horse! Ride to town, Merc! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moat! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Okay, the best course of action here is to just run and find steal somebody's horse. Because I am pretty sure that I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. He's like, you stole my sword. Yeah, I got a sword. Do you like my sword? So I like my diamond sword. So I am getting chased by those people over there. There. Are they chasing me? Uh, yep, I'll be chased. Okay. <laughs> Run, boy. Stand him up. Alright. Well, that doesn't sound good. I'm coming! I'll save you! I'm gonna die. X. Uh, where's the sword? Where's the sword? Where's the sword? Oh gosh, that's so good. I'm gonna get hits. 
Oh, I can't use the sword. Seriously? I can't use the sword right of it's sword? Of course I don't. Give me the sword. Yes. Equip. Oh, I was not ready. I thought I had a sword. Where's the sword? Oh, there it is. Hop on. That's not good. Okay. I can do this. I just didn't have the sword, and I didn't realize I didn't have the sword on me. So that's my bad. It's like a street racer. Oh yeah, sword. Now it's equipped. Okay, now I have the sword. Will I survive? I like that the music got calm now. It's, like, pfft, it's fine. Do you draw your sword? Hi guys, um... Uh... Ow. Draw the sword, damn it! I have no idea how to draw the sword in this game. Okay, how do you draw a sword? Because the game, like, when I did that tutorial or whatever for combat, it automatically drew the sword. Controls, movement, combat, primary attack, signal, abort attack, heh, <laughs> abort, lock on opponent, tab, special attack, F, draw melee weapon, one. Okay, that would have been nice to know two seconds ago. Vil's lad, like you, has no chance of defeating the fearsome humans, better to run and save your skin. Yeah, yeah, I got this, okay? You doubt my power. Did I seriously get hurt from that? Oh. In cities, they may even call guards on you if I have my weapon drawn. Good to know. Hey guys! Alright, cool. Distract them. Let's just Let's get the horse. Get on the horse. Get on the get 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 get. Okay, don't get on the horse, you freaking idiot. Seriously, I'm clicking E. I don't know what else to do. Fucking head. It won't let me get on the horse for some reason. Is it because I have my weapon drawn? Maybe that's why. Stamina! Okay, let's not draw the sword. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna whistle, distract them, let her get into the house, and then we're gonna jump on the horse and run. Don't need to fight them. I'm totally inexperienced and I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm gonna prevent them from doing whatever the heck they're trying to do to her. Hey guys! X. X. Okay, that's. Okay, I. You just clicked X, and now you're giving me a tutorial on how to mount my horse? Walk. Center ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Gallop the fastest gait, but it will soon deplete your horse's stamina. Just holding left shift down, or just pressing left shift once. And it'll step. Okay, let's hop on the horse. Horse. Come on, turn. There you go, can you jump the fence? Not like that. Guess I can't. Oh god! Ah. 
All right, you guys can let me get up first real quick. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Why are you attacking? Just go around them. Go around. Get on the... Get on the horse. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Smart boy. Wise boy. Oh, shit. There's a lot of humans. Go! Okay, I somehow survived that. How? I don't know. But I did. So cool. Dude, you're stabbing the guy to death. That's anger. Anger. Um. My leg! Now am I playing? I don't know. I am playing. Okay. Keep going. Oh, yep, they're still going that way. It's weird that I control the horse by this and not by where I'm looking. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, she's dead. No, don't get off the horse! What the heck? I did not click X. I did not click X. I don't know what you were doing, but I did not press that button that you think I pressed. At all. Okay, panic a little bit there. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. May have just had a little panic attack, but it is a okay. Hey guys, run for it. Keep Where running. The They've torn I got it. I think that guy's dead. He's not dead. Okay. Do do do. This is going well. Constellation cross. I'm not even gonna work. Try to even read that. <laughs> ah shit! Run for it! Ow! Ha! You missed, coward! Don't shoot the horse! Dang, this town is far away. Run for it! I like that I just tell the person run for it as there's like horses. Like, yeah, you can outrun a horse, dude. Good luck. You got this. There it is. Almost to safety. Okay, cool. I made it. Dr. Phil's men are attacking me! You guys are horrible archers. She missed every single one of those shots. Thanks. I still I used to be an adventurer like you once, but then I took an arrow to the knee. And that knee in particular. Believe. And then I pass out. You're not getting up. Hmm. Hey. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Hot wine, hmm. That's what I need. Tell me, boy. Who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. 
And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't it know. It was Dr. Phil. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? <laughs> well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Thank you, sir. I don't know. Who is that? I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Hey, guys. I'm gonna pass out. No! I'm gonna pass out just from the removal of an arrow. Oh. Okay. I guess I didn't. Easy. I don't know why I keep looking at my own. Well done. You were lucky. Camera's there, not there. The arrow missed the bone. I only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Your armor's shiny. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Lord Dibish. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Well, Dibish. Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scallops is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? Boy. I'm Henry. Boy. Son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I watched him get stabbed to death. With I'm my mother. Sorry. Good times. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. So I have a fun, some fun facts about that armor. If those of you that do not understand uh, or medieval kind of things, but or not understand, but I don't know, I'll tell you the fun facts in a little bit once I can actually get a piece of the armor and look at it more thoroughly. Okay, all of a sudden I can walk fine. Okay. Cool. You've discovered your bed. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Thank you, sir. Robard. Okay. That's the end of this. To eat. I heard about your father. They say he was a soldier. Why was my character still talking in the pause menu? Um. Okay, I'll, we'll finish this conversation real quick. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had a, he had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Okay, we'll get some food since my character's about to pass out. Ah, oh, milady. 
You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. Hi, Bojena. You're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by his generosity. <coughs> yes, yes, thank you, my lady. Pay attention, boy! I reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Let me eat. Let me eat. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. I shall not forget. Um, I think we're good. Food, food, porridge. Let's be eats. Okay, that's not exactly what I was planning on doing, but food, lentil mash or lentil soup. Or lentil mash. I feel like that's better. Yeah, this is the soup that was older. This is gonna. Uh, I feel better yet. I ate. I have a. I did not think that said duck for a second. Okay, we're just gonna eat until we. Are we good? Cool. I'm just tired. Oh, my word. Oh, good God. I'm gonna just keep yawning in my ear until I go lay down. I lie down before I split my face apron from yawning. Armor. I need to remove my boots. My boots. They need to be removed. And then I'm just going to lay down. Oh, jeez. Am I actually gonna pass out? Sleep. I will sleep till morning. Oh, with about six. Oh, you actually have to pay attention to how hungry you get after this? Interesting. No, I'll sleep till six. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright, don't get to sleep till six. Yes? Who's that rap tap tapping Forgive upon my me. chamber door? Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Boy. <laughs> my lady. Uh, um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Watch my family get stabbed to death is not fun. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new. What tarnation is she doing? But I want you to feel at home here. 
You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Did I talk about it? Or did I go back to bed? I guess we'll never know. I just can't talk about it. I'll tell the story like it was yesterday. Because it was. I'll tell you what happened. It oh, was I like terrible that. and unexpected. I like this view. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Oh, shoot. Timer. Um, I went to the tavern, ale. A fellow by the name of Kunner showed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. So now what am Kunish I doing? No what am I whispering in her ear? It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. Keep pledged. It's a great scene. Sporting a sword for Sir Radzik. Sir Radzik, sword, came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. But then, there's a huge horde of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Skalit. They killed my father and mother. Father told me to take I did not see them kill the girl, so... Married. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. Hi there. <laughs> the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Um, yep, still keeping. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from her. I literally and whistled like a and grabbed her attention. Night. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. It's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. 
Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Can I end the episode now? Everybody's got rough lives back in the Middle Ages, 1400s. It's rough, I know, but we'll make it through. We'll survive just as, just as, uh, or we won't survive, one of the two. What the? Oh, nightmare. PTSD. Not what happened, but help us. Don't be Even in death, father still mocks us. How dare he? I survived. You guys are weak. You did not. Wake up. Oh. You don't want to miss this. Oh, what's oh, oh, okay. What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Open the door, get on the floor. I forgot to put my boots on again. Okay, now everybody can do the dinosaur. Where am I going? Over here. Over here. I was going to try to end the episode, but um, I'll get I'll get to a stop point eventually. I think. A very long episode. It's the intro, I guess. It's fine. Prepare for the worst. 
But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my command, and all will end well. That's actually a perfect place to stop it. Right on the cliffhanger, as per usual. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We will definitely be playing this some more. Um, how far into the game we get is entirely up to you. If you guys are actually enjoying this, then I'll do more episodes. It's a very, very long and tedious game. So, um, it's very challenging is why I say that it's tedious. So, we'll definitely see what happens and if you guys actually want to see more. Um, I'm going to do more episodes just for the sake of continuing the story a little bit, but after we get to the point where we're actually through the intro, um, might stop. We'll see. You guys decide. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying. Hit the like button to let me know if you guys are enjoying this or not, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.